Hey everybody, I'm uh, Marvel Fump, and this is Nancy Drew number 20, Ransom of the Seven Ships. So I wasn't sure if I was going to play this game. I did a poll on my YouTube channel. Uh, where's that poll? Right over here. So I asked people if I should play the game, and over like a thousand votes. That's a surprisingly large amount of votes, so thank you very much for uh, all voting. Now let me get up the uh, other image there. As you may know, this game has been officially discontinued. I believe it was discontinued 2020, August or so. Uh, this is her interactive's explanation for it. So, the, the game was basically cancelled due to uh, its racist content, so they're no longer pr promoting this game because it has blackface in it. So that's why they're, they're never, uh, they're not selling the game anymore. And just wanted people to know that in case, in case you haven't played the game yourself, that's why this game is unavailable for purchase. And, uh, because I'm live streaming this, I want, I want people to be nice in the chat, okay? Let's not start any fights about this game, um, any, any fights about racism or, or not. Yeah, I, I see people argue whether or not this game is racist, and I just... Don't want any of that in the chat, okay? So let's let's keep it a nice, clean chat and uh, try to enjoy the game. I will uh, re re repeat that content warning uh, when we get to the end Hi, of the game. I'm Nancy Drew. Okay? This is my. So this was game number twenty in the series, and to celebrate this big milestone, they decided to have a game with Bess and George, which is really cool. I like having Bess and George in a video game. Leave it to Bess to enter an online sweepstakes and wind up winning a five-day vacation in the Bahamas. Naturally, she invited her cousin George and me to go with her, and naturally we said yes. As luck would have it, Dad and I have to go to a father-daughter banquet on the day the vacation begins which means I'm going to have to arrive a day late. But the ecotourism resort where we're staying sounds very cool. And the island is so remote you can only get there by float plane. White sand beaches, turquoise waters, and tropical sunshine, here we come. Yeah, this was super exciting when the game came out. Uh, we, we get to see Bess and George. I remember actually, I, I, I got an email to like, uh, or was it an email? Anyway, somebody messaged me, sent me a link to a Russian website, which had, like, spoilers of Bess and George. It's like, here's the pics of Bess and George in this game. And that, that was like five days before the game came out. So everybody was super psyched to see Bess and George in this game. Um, the downside is that because we have Bess and George in this game, right? They're Nancy's best friends. We know they're not going to be the culprit, right? They're not the villains. And so that kind of puts the game in a tough spot when it comes to figuring out who the culprit is. Because there's only one character. So, spoiler alert, the only character in this game is the culprit. There it is. Dread Isle. It looks so small. It'd take you a while to get anywhere down there on foot, I can tell you that. Unless you're super athletic. How often do you fly charters out here? I think he included that line, you have to be super athletic to run around the island on foot, because George is super athletic and she does run around the island on foot. So that, that, I think that explains why George can run around the island, but Nancy can't. Nancy's not athletic. She just stays at home, watches Netflix all day long when she's not solving mysteries. Yeah, I, I don't know. Your two friends, the ones I flew out here yesterday, they were my first passengers in weeks. Pretty isolated, huh? Granted, a lot of these places shut down during the summer on account of hurricanes. But even when it's not storm season, I guarantee you, that island down there is pretty much a ghost town. All right, so here we are uh, on an island in the Bahamas. So cool. There's George. Hi, slow down. I'm not going anywhere. Hey, hey, hold on. George? Stop. No, don't go. Stop. No, come back. Come back. George, what's wrong? What are you doing? I was trying to stop him. We need help. Why? What's happened? 
Bess has been kidnapped. Dun, dun, dun. And when I woke up this morning, Bess's bed hadn't been slept in, and there was no sign of her. She never came back from going to watch the sunset. Here's the note the Gibsons left. I knew I should have gone with her, but I was just so tired. This is all my fault. It is not your fault, George. The Gibsons, they're the people who own the resort? Yes, but there's no sign of them either. Multiple people are pointing out that George really should have stayed there in that spot. Like, George should have been standing on the dock because she knew Nancy was coming. George, I, I don't know why George went back to the resort. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me. George, big mistake on your part. And here, here's the note I found from the kidnappers. They obviously knew you were coming. It sure looks that way. Wonder who El Toro is? He was the Spanish captain of a fleet of seven ships that sank near Dread Isle about 300 years ago. There's something about him in those books over there. All right. Nancy, we've got your friend. To get her back unharmed, you need to find El Toro's treasure. So, is anybody else here? Have you seen anyone else on the island at all? No, but then we really didn't have time to explore yesterday because we arrived so late. And I've been in here ever since I found that ransom note. I've been trying to get this satellite phone to work so we can call for help. So far, no luck. Okay, so George was busy playing on this phone. George, why weren't you outside playing on the phone? Terrible decision, George! I feel so useless. You can do it, George. Just keep at it. In the meantime, I'm going to look around. Maybe go out to this Sangre Beach place. Bess took the only golf cart that worked. That one that's still here needs water or something. Anyway, keep me posted. I don't know, I kind of like George's haircut. Yeah, that scene of George running was super cool. So this is the island. This is how large the island was. Or how large it is. We're here. We're here. And we're going to visit pretty much every place on the island. That was fast. On second thought, I'll see you later. So let's see. We're going to go outside. We're going to see the shed is locked. Locked. Maybe the Gibsons kept the key at the front desk. And then we're going to go right back to George. By the way, this is broken. We need to find the piece for this. It is a puzzle. Kind of cool. Cool shark diving ecotourism resort. And before I forget, we have an awesome character here. It's Cuckoo the Parrot. <laughs> Stranger danger! Stranger danger! Stay back! It's okay. My name's Nancy Drew. You're a pretty smart bird. Smarter than Nancy Drew! <laughs> well, that's kind of rude. Maybe I should call you Einstein, huh? Cuckoo's my name! Talking's my name! <laughs> Cuckoo, that's weird. You look just like this bird I met in England named Lulu. Grandma Lulu! Pretty bird! Pretty bird! Grandma Lulu! <laughs> yep, so her grandma was Lulu, the parrot from Nancy Drew... I think it's 12, Curse of Blackmore Manor. It's really cool we've got another parrot. You like being here all by yourself? Monkey see, monkey do, cuckoo want fruit! Fruit! Monkey see, monkey do, cuckoo want fruit! <laughs> okay. It freaked out like that with me, too. Probably tired of eating bird seed. Cuckoo want fruit. You've made that painfully clear. I'll see what I can do. Cuckoo is a fun character. Probably one of the best things about this game is Cuckoo. Everybody loves Cuckoo. So what happened is that um, El Toro, Spanish royalty, la 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 la, crash landed somewhere in this area. The entire fleet was never seen again. So that's the treasure we are trying to find. Have you got something? Yeah, the sneaking suspicion that this whole thing, the contest best won, the trip here, the note from the Gibsons, I think it was all just a big ploy to capture one or both of you so someone could force me to find this treasure for them. That's so diabolical. Who would do something like that? Someone who knows I like to solve mysteries, maybe? Great. That narrows it down to what? Everyone who reads the newspaper? 
Nancy, you've solved mysteries in practically every corner of the world. <sighs> You're right. The only way we're going to find out who it is is by finding Bess. You think the Gibsons are in on it? I sure do. After all, you know what they say. Everyone's a suspect. Have you by any chance seen the key to the shed outside? I've seen a key. I'm not sure if it's the key. Here, try it and see if it works. Thanks. Anything else? I'd better get back to work. You know where to find me. That is, in fact, the key. That's the key we need. Let's see. We want to take a look at this. We've got flags. We've got numbered flags. And that's going to be for a puzzle in just a moment. I do have my notes here. So I'm going to use my notes to solve this particular puzzle. My notes say the solution is 79204. Must be where they store the sales. Seven nine two zero four. Hooray! Yeah, Bess. I mean, George didn't try to fix the golf cart yet. Here's a commemorative coin, which we'll need later on in the game. And this is about the the battery, 300 milliliter. It's it's the puzzle. It's the puzzle. And I'm gonna grab the shovel. And that's it. Let's get started. All right. So everything needs to be at. Let's see. I think I fill all four of these ones. Great. This one's going to be filled all by itself, because 40 plus 60 equals 100. Good. So let's see. Um, these two are obviously going to get filled by themselves, I mean together. So now everything is 60. So those three are all 60. So let's fill them both up. So fill that them up with do it. two things of water. That's how we solve the puzzle. Hooray! This game is very heavy on puzzles because it's light on characters. It's kind of hard to uh, not be heavy on puzzles. So here's the beach. Wow, Nancy, why didn't you just walk to this beach, Nancy? Okay, so first we need to do this digging puzzle. So we start below the three and take however many paces to the south. Right here. Kind of wish they put like the instructions in the little thing, top left corner or something. So we need to find the W. Here's the W. And then we're gonna follow the instructions. So. One, wait, wait, I'm so confused. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So because there are three things on the palm tree, we go south by three. Okay, and this time number two, it's times one. So I'm gonna go left three times one. One, two, three. Now I'm on three. That means three times three. So I'm gonna go nine up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and now I am on number four, so that's three again. So three times three is nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I hope I'm explaining this well. Um, just leave a comment if you're if you're confused about this. Okay, five uh, times one. So one times two is two. So I go up two. Next is uh, step number six. I feel like if this puzzle had been five steps instead of 15, that would have been better. So it's times three, and we've got one. So it's one, two, three. Three times one. Now we've got seven, which is times five. So this is going to be three times five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, 
now it's uh, we're on step eight, which is a times one, and this is four. So it's left times it's one times four. One, two, three, four. The culprit must have spent a long time setting up this puzzle. Okay, times three. So we're on nine, which is a times three. Two times three is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm next to a four, and this is also a times three. So four times three is 12, so I'm going right 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay, now I'm by a five thing. Five, so five times one. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm next to three things, so it's a times two, because I'm on step 12. So three times two is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a tough puzzle to do without help. And then uh, times one is 13, so this is four. One, two, three, four. I'm on step number 14, which is a time two, and this is one, two, three, four, four. So four times two is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I've got a two, which is the final step. Two times one is two. One, two, start digging. You right click to dig. We can kind of see Nancy's hair here, which I think is cool. I, I like being able to see Nancy's hair. I wish we got to see Nancy up close. That would have been a great way to celebrate uh, game number 20. Just here's what Nancy and all of her friends look like. So anyway, the culprit, let's take a look at this again. All right, we dig up here. Basically the culprit found this book indicating where El Toro's treasure is. And now, now Nancy has the book. So Nancy can find the treasure, and the treasure, this is a long puzzle. We've got a lot of different puzzles here. Yep. Let's see, I believe we're going to go meet our only character in the game, which we might as well. And then we'll start solving those puzzles. Is that okay? Yeah, if they ever come out with another Nancy Drew game, it would be amazing to see her face. I mean, it'd just be amazing to see her face. No matter what number game it is. Alright, so this is the beach where Bess uh, went to. She was kidnapped here. <laughs> Whoa! Who are you? Um, my name's Nancy Drew. What are you doing here? I'm looking for someone. Who? A friend, Bess Marvin. She disappeared last night. There is no Bess Marvin here. Look, do you think you could let me down? It'd be a whole lot easier to talk if the blood weren't rushing to my head. This is the character I was talking about earlier. The only person on the island, besides for Nancy and her friends, it is Johnny Roll. Ow! Sorry. But that's her shoe and the golf cart she was driving. Are you sure you didn't see the people who kidnapped my friend? I was fishing last night, far down the beach. I see no kidnappers. I hear no kidnappers. Didn't you look around after you saw a golf cart? I do not see this cart until just now. Really? Come on, these seem like lies. Have you noticed any footprints or car tracks? Anything out of the ordinary? You ask too many questions. My name is Johnny Roll. I am from Kingston, Jamaica. I have come here to fish and to be alone. When I'm tired of fishing and being alone on this island, I will go to another. That is my story. There is no more to say. How come you're so intent on being alone? That is my business. Why do you ask all these questions? I just thought you might need help. I do not need your help. And I am not alone on this island. There are monkeys. They like to steal things. 
What they cannot steal, they destroy. One day I find them in my boat, tearing up whatever they can. As I am chasing them away, one bites me. These monkeys are dangerous. They have ruined the motor of my boat. I cannot go anywhere until it is fixed. That is why I set the snare to catch them before they do more damage. There are other people on the island as well. There are? Where are they? Who are they? Tell me everything you know. I only see them sometimes when I am fishing. Always from a distance, moving through the trees. Three, maybe four men. They do not bother me, I do not bother them. But if this changes, as you saw, I am ready for them. What about a phone or a two-way radio? Do you have one? I have none of these things. You go now. I can tell you nothing more, nor can I help you. I'll go, but I'll be back. You can pretty much count on it. Do as you like. Yeah, this guy. Okay, so we actually need to start solving these puzzles. Um, in the something of night. We need to solve these puzzles, and that way we'll be able to talk to Johnny about some stuff. So with hurricane winds, wailing, wailing, I bet this word was in, in the black of night, hurricane winds wailing and giant waves pounding, I ordered my fleet to change course and make for land. This island in sight, the Karidad founder disappeared while the Kostadad was set ablaze. When lightning ignited her sails and sank amid the so I mean the smoke. And it's a three-part puzzle, by the way, and all three parts all three parts have a different different symbols that you have to decode. It's kind of a lot of work. The light of day. I just have this memorized, actually, from the other times I've played this game. Or maybe it's dawn. The light of dawn revealed catastrophic damage. And now I've got enough words figured out that I... Uh, enough letters figured out that I can figure out what all the other words are. Only... Only a third of my men survived. That's gotta be a V. First, not one of my ships is salvageable. None shall for sale again. We are shipwrecked. The only hope we have is to be seen by passing ships. But it might be a pirate ship, so I'm hiding all of our cargo. As a loyal servant of the king, I can do no less. It's seven ships. Something, something, seven, seven ships set sail. And so seven pieces shall open the seal. I have tasked each surviving ship crew with hiding a single item, its location known only to them and to me. So that way nobody can find the treasure and steal it. Securing the treasure itself shall be my task alone. I'm writing this in English, so nobody else will know how to find it. In this manner, any attempt to force the location of the treasure from one of my men will be fruitless. These sections are still encoded. And in a very weird way. Maybe I should keep my eyes peeled for something that will help me break the code. Yeah, some of these sections, these still have further codes. So we're going to have to do this astrolabe puzzle in order to get those sections done. And reading that book should cause Nancy to realize that she wants a metal detector. One which is right here. What is it now? Would it be okay if I borrowed your metal detector? No, my boat and my metal detector, they are my only true possessions. And unlike my boat, my metal detector is not broken. I give it to no one. Please, Mr. Roll, it's very important. My friend's life may depend on it. I won't break it, I promise. You ask me a question, I give you my answer. Now you may leave. Ha! Uh -uh. not without that metal detector. 
I'm afraid I'm just gonna have to bug you until you give it to me. Sorry. Here is what I will do. I will give you the metal detector. But first, you must give me the compass which the monkey with the notched ear stole from my boat. Do you agree? You've got a deal. I'll be back with that compass in no time. I hope. I find it very frustrating, and many other people do. Uh, they find it very frustrating that Nancy puts her foot down for the metal detector. And she doesn't put her foot down in terms of the whole, you know, what happened to Bess? Uh, anyway. I'm going to change pathways here. We're going to have to get a glow sticks. Let's see. Nancy can't go underwater. Nancy needs to go underwater before she realizes she's a pulley's she missing. Some kind of animal ran off with one of those pulleys. Looks like whatever it was has an extra toe. Excellent. So we are going to have to find that extra toe thing as well. Just doing that so I can get both of these monkey challenges done at the same time. So the monkeys were in the upper right hand corner of the island. I think. Yeah, they were. These roads are in such terrible shape. They really do need to be fixed. Granted, it's a private island, so the odds of that are probably pretty low. Monkey Research Facility. I do wish the driving was like it was in some of the other games. You know, Trail of the Twister, Secret of the Old Clock. Driving in those games was fun. Driving in this game, eh, not so much. So, let's play a game. Feel like talking? Oh. Sorry for bothering you. I guess I can't play with the monkeys yet. Whoops. How's it going? Never mind. My mistake, everybody. Wow, I'm just playing this game incorrectly. Don't worry. A at some point, like, the game opens up and we get to do all of the puzzles all at once. As I said, there there's a lot of puzzles in this game. do have to take a look at this monkey journal right here. Da -da -da. These are monkey sounds. That's the important one. There we go. And that's how the monkeys work. We are going to do the bat detecting. We can't do it yet because the bat detecting is one of those puzzles right here. November 69. See those words that are not actual words? Yep, those those are totally covered up. Okay, a somber day, we we pay respects to the final resting pay place, which is a mile due southeast of the island. So one mile southeast of the island, that's where we're going to go. But first we need that metal detector, and we need this diving gear. This closet has a pretty sophisticated lock on it. Probably to keep out nosy guests. Oh, no offense. Somebody asked which game has the worst driving. This one. I think it's this one. Honestly, I, I think this is the one with the worst driving. But hey, just me. Okay, solve that puzzle. That gives me some uh, diving equipment, right? Hey, I found some walkie-talkies. We should carry one with us at all times. That way we'll always be in touch. Here. Awesome. Thanks. Good idea. Nancy and George have walkie-talkies. And check this. There's a map in here. That's weird. What is? I've solved the case in every spot that's marked on this map. 
You think the Gibsons have been keeping tabs on you? Kinda looks that way. Probably just a coincidence. Yeah... George, I think you're wrong on this. Somebody's been keeping track of every single mystery Nancy solved. This scuba gear might come in handy. Good thing I'm up to date on my diving certification. This is just... I, I feel like that, that should be a major, major red flag. But Nancy just kind of ignores it. Nancy Drew! Nancy Drew! Hi, Cuckoo. Wow, what an elaborate perch. Cuckoo love perch. Want to see a trick? Sure. A trick for a treat. A trick for a treat. Quid pro quo. Ah! And by treat, you mean... Fruit! Cuckoo wants fruit! 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 Okay, okay, I get the picture. Just so we're clear, if I give you some fruit, you'll do a trick? You got it, sister. So where can I go to get you some fruit? Monkey see, monkey do, monkey see, monkey do. The monkeys have fruit, that's what she's saying. The parrot I knew back in England used to give me hints. A hint for a treat, a hint for a treat, now you're talking. So, I give you some fruit, you give me a hint, deal? A deal's a deal, fair and fair. A hint for a treat, monkey see, monkey do. Well, ciao for now. Hasta la vista. I like Cuckoo. I also liked Lulu. Um, Cuckoo is way more detailed than uh, Lulu. You know, Cuckoo can do way more animation, whereas Lulu, Lulu really couldn't move. Lulu could open her mouth, and that was basically it. Occasionally she opened her mouth, and then they just swung the picture of Lulu back and forth to make it look like she was swinging. Can I sneak through these trees? No, because those tree branches are just giant and just hanging down on the road. Yeah, I seriously wish we could travel more quickly in this game. If we could just go from spot to spot, that would be fantastic. How many spots are there? There's, there's only like six or so. There's not that many. All right, so now we can talk to the monkeys and we will play a monkey game. I would like to play a I game, would you? this is the monkey you? with the extra toe. It's the monkey with the extra toe, we can see that. That looks perfect. Oh, and Sunny June's thing explained how this game worked. I wasn't paying that much attention, so let's see. You always want to click on the largest area, and it can't be next to something of the same color. That's it. And you'll notice I'm alternating colors. That's how it works. Perfect. I feel like Nancy compliments me when I get an answer correct. Um, blue here. It's gonna have to be green here. I think that's the only spot I can put green. Oh man, that's a nice place I should have put something. And I think the monkey won. Can't yep, go there. I lost. Can't do that. Can't do that. Didn't win that game. This is a tough game. I would like to play a game with you. It is fun, but I mean, it's just tough. Your move. Now I go. Is this the same one we just did? <laughs> I think it is. Your move. All right, this large spot here that looks was, perfect. was great, so I'm grabbing it this time around. Now I go. This is another good one for green. And let's see, there's a large blue spot there. Am I winning? I feel like these could both be green areas for me. So, like, I could make this green, but you'll notice it's touching red and yellow. What's up? Hey, 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 talk to everybody here. Everybody, we got a special guest star. Put the headset on. Hi, I'm so cool. I'm here. Hi. I'm, like, so cool. Introduce yourself. 
Okay. That looks right. Hi. Hi. Can't go there. Let's see. Let's see. Somebody called me a cool person. Bet I know who'd like that guava. I'm cooler than you. Yeah, I am. Okay, I'm, I'm pretended I dad. Okay, bye. Is dabbing cool now? Okay, you just came downstairs to steal the phone. Is that it? You didn't want to chat with everybody in the, in the, uh, somebody said hello, Katie. Yeah, um, yeah, um, yeah, uh, okay, see ya. That was actually not Katie, that was, uh, our, our daughter, Mary. <laughs> um, who, I should say, was invited to live stream all of these video games with me and said no because she's too busy doing cool things. She was in a middle school musical and stuff. Do you really know how to play a game? Yeah, middle school musical. Now, now track. Now track. Track just happened to be right after a musical season. That looks right. Anyway, um, we do have to do this game twice. See if I can actually now I go. win this game twice. It's very difficult. My turn. I mean, you saw how tough it was for me to win once. Yeah, yeah, gosh. Mary was. She was in like the original live stream back in 2014. So she, she was in one of those videos, I believe. But now she's a middle schooler and she's way too cool for uh, for uh, playing video games and stuff. Hey, oh, hey, we've got another special guest star. All right, come in, come here. Come here, come here. Rosie. Okay, Rosie, come here. I can't hear you. That's the problem. Okay, so, uh, hi, everybody. We've got another special guest star. Hi, everybody. Just sit. Hi, everyone. It's me, Rosie. My turn. And green. So your favorite of the colors is all of them? Oh yeah, sure. Because I like rainbow and all those colors are in the rainbow. Any other colors are in the rainbow? Ooh. Your move. Green, yellow. Let's Not see. That kind of Let's see. Can't go there. You're the winner. Like to play a game, would you? Uh, where should I click? There. Here? That looks perfect. There. There. You can click way spot you want. Your move. Right. I think I'll take over commentary. Thank you for visiting Rosie. You can ask mom if she wants to show up. Just have everybody show up here in the live stream and watch me lose to the monkey games. <laughs> live streaming. <laughs> um, she needed help reaching something. Perfect. Apparently, apparently there were spider problems upstairs, which is why I live downstairs. <laughs> um... What does Harper Thornton say in Ghost of Thornton Hall? She's like, sounds like an upstairs person problem to me. I'm more My turn. downstairs people. <laughs> All right. Um, I think this is the largest green area. <laughs> this is going to be blue, and that's going to be... Um, 
green. Where am I gonna put a nice blue piece? Um, here. That should do it. I think I've already lost, though. Uh, yeah. These will both be green. That's green. This is blue. Green. Green. And blue. And I've lost. That looks perfect. Oh, and I get that one Ooh, point. Can't do that. Can't do that. Didn't win that game. Lost. This is, yeah, you know, people complain about the monkeys. Um, Do you really know how to play see, a game? Difficult monkey games. Difficult monkey games. Oh my gosh, this one sort of looks like a crab, doesn't it? See, we've got the, the eyes and the shape and the, the claw there. Huh, that's cool. Now I go. My turn. Let's see. Let's see, um, this is gonna be green. Maybe I'll do a blue in between the two greens. That looks perfect! Or maybe I'll do a blue up there. Now Nancy, I go. Nancy said that looks perfect, which makes me think, you know, that looks perfect means, um, you just got the best possible move you could make. But maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe I'm incorrect <laughs> about that. Okay, where can I put blue? And now I'm just totally lost. I'm like, where could I put blue or anything? Your uh, maybe move. just green and blue alternating on the, the right hand side is my best bet. I can't go here. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of places where I can't possibly move. Uh, here. Perfect. Great. I'm technically in the lead, but not for long, I don't think. Uh, here. Now oh, the monkey took one, which was really good for me. Um, yeah. That looks right. <laughs> I'm gonna be stuck taking these small ones, aren't I? Uh, yeah, I'll perfect. just do that. This is like perfect. Now I go. It wasn't really perfect. It was terrible, Nancy. Oh, I guess I could have done green there. Can't go there. Let's see. That's a tie. Can't go there. We tied. Nobody wins, nobody loses. What do you mean nobody wins, nobody loses? This is this is ridiculous. Oh. We're never going to win this game, are we? I would like to play a game, would you? Did I win this at one point, or did I lose this every single time I tried? Perfect! Your move. There we go. I think that's right? Okay, um, here. Your move. Oh, that wasn't a good move. Yeah, that was not a good move at all. Oh my gosh, um. Your move. That's where I was gonna put my green! That How should do there? it. And the blue right on top of it. Your move. 
yeah, Nancy Drew. Nobody wins, nobody loses. What, what, what kind of nonsense is that, Nancy? Man, I was gonna go there, too. Your move. Monkey keeps stealing all the good My spots turn. for me. All the good spots. I should have done green there. That looks perfect. Lost. Can't go there. Can't do that. Didn't win that game. Be nice if the game had pity on me and just, just threw a victory in my way. I hear you know how to play a game. And meanwhile, all the people who played this game and won on their first try are like, What's wrong with you, uh, Argo Thump? Why aren't you, uh... Why aren't you winning? This is so easy. What's the problem, bro? There has to be some boards which are way easier than others. Like, that has to be the case. That should do it. I, I can't possibly see it that... All these boards are equally difficult. Probably need to get more blue in the bottom left is what I should have been doing. Um, focusing my attention on. So maybe these two blues. So... This blue. That would have been a great blue, but unfortunately it's That looks perfect. Cut out of my possibility. That would have been another great blue, which unfortunately is cut out of all possibility for me. Let's see. Let's see. Monkey wins. Lost that game. like to play a game, would you? These monkeys are just cheaters. Not this board again. That looks perfect. Hey, that was a good one. Maybe. That looks right. Yay. So that big one up top is probably blue. Perfect. And that's probably makes me stuck because I can't like pick something like in between there. This this one probably needs to be blue as well. Um, that looks right. Let's go with that as green. <laughs> oh man, has anybody like? Kept track of how many losses I've gotten because it feels like it's a lot. That should do it. That looks right. Great. Yeah, that's where I was gonna throw a blue. Oh well. At the bottom right corner now. That Feels looks like right. that's the biggest spot I could do. Can't put a blue in any of these spots. Okay, um, this one. My turn. Now we're gonna just try to fight over those single squares. Okay. Luckily, the single squares. That quite should do easy. it. Lost. Let's see. Can't do that. Lost that game. That's six or seven times I've lost now. That's just not fair. Uh, let's break it up and do this one. Do you really know how to play a game? This one's more fun. Um, this is a game that you can actually win, 
what you need to do is just like click outside of the game window like this and then that's good okay so we want to get uh, the coconuts and the the starfish I think I think that's it so yeah coconuts um there's another coconut. Coconut and crab, maybe? Because that seems to be what the monkey is prioritizing. Coconuts and crabs. And just, you know, constantly click outside the game window. If I'm winning this one, why couldn't this be the one that you have to do multiple times in a row? Okay, in all fairness, this, this game is torturous, especially on uh, senior mode. Nice little flower, but we get a uh, we get the compass. We finally got Johnny Johnny's compass. Do you really know how to play a game? So this is the reason why I'm not um, trying to get all the achievements in this game. That should do it. It's because you get stuck with this puzzle. I, I mean, you would be forced to do that. That looks right. Over and over and over again. My turn. Games forced to try to win them and they're impossible so you know that's a bummer oh, I should have blue in the upper right where the monkey is going to take the steel let's see a monkey can't get this spot or that spot um, let's take this blue Your move. here <laughs> It seems inevitable that whenever I look at a spot and go, ooh, that's a great Perfect. one, the monkey steals it from me. Oh, come on, monkey did it again. That's where I would have put my next blue. Thanks, monkey. Now I go. Now I'm, I'm, whatever, okay. This is, that's enough of that. Would you like to play a game? Just running out of energy. That looks perfect. Sorry, everyone. Okay, I'll try to be excited and happy. Green there. Can't green here. One of those needs to be blue. Let's green here. Well, since the monkey took that one, this one will be a blue. So this that nice should do it. Large green. Bottom left, nice large blue. Bottom left also going to be a green or a blue. Now I go. Man, that would great for my blue. Um, green, green here. Those two things in the bottom right look nice as well. Like those seem to be like the only things I can do. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'll we'll, we'll get those two in the bottom right now. Get a blue towards the center. Wait, is this victory? Is this victory? Let's see. 
Can't go there. <laughs> Yay! We did it. We did it, everyone. We finally did it. We, we beat the monkeys. We will have to be back to play a game with the third monkey. But, for now, let's just declare a victory. I think we do have to go on top of the cliff to know the monkeys want the sea urchin. This driving, oh my goodness. This is the, the bat, bat caves thing. Kind of tough. He has to climb without being hit by those rocks from below. The monkeys are throwing the rocks at her. Sorry, rocks from above. Ouch. So if you get hit by a monkey, uh, <sighs> it's just like that. Looks like the rocks just fall randomly, right? How are you supposed to know where those rocks are? Ow! Monkeys. The monkeys are in the way and won't let Come me Come on, get guys. Here. What's it gonna take for you to move? Come on, guys. What's it gonna take for you to move? So the monkeys just made the sound for for the sea urchin, their sea urchin sound, meaning the monkeys need a sea urchin, otherwise they will not move. That is the monkey rule. Darn. Excellent. Let's go back to blue. Let's go back to blue hole. Solve the puzzle there. It's right here. Now that we have that final... Actually, I don't know if we can do it. Let's take a look at our uh, book. It is this puzzle, but yeah, it looks like we, we might not be able to do it because it's uh, sort of roped off. I, I mean, it has those words that haven't been decoded yet. Or not, let's see. We want exactly 30, 30 left. Ah, did that wrong. Okay. Got it. What? What do you mean? Oh, come on, Nancy. Err. It does feel like Nancy should be super fit, and Nancy should have a great time running around the island, but no, she, she cannot do it without this particular... There we go. Without the golf cart. Okay, great. We found two of those astrolabes. That's brilliant. Huh, and can Nancy not go diving down here yet? I guess she can't go diving down here yet. She doesn't realize she can do it. That must be one of those puzzles, which, as I mentioned, we've got sub several puzzles which are protected, forced to be in the second half of the game by the fact that there are uh, words in the diary which have not been translated yet. Do you have my compass? Yes. There you go. Still works and everything. Very good. 
You may take my metal detector, but tomorrow you must return it to me. Sounds that good. Is all? So all you do here is fish? Sometimes at low tide, I walk the beach with a metal detector, searching for that which the sea has left behind. Ever find anything valuable? One day I find this. I do not know what it is. Actually, it looks vaguely familiar, but I can't quite place it. I think it must be very rare. And rare things are very valuable. That's it for now. This is good. It's good that I'm leaving him alone. Alright, so now that we have the compass... Alright, no, now that we have the metal detector... I really need to solve two puzzles. One of them should be just digging things up here in Shark Cove. And then the other is the uh, Sudoku puzzle. Oh, okay, guess we can't do that at Shark Cove then. It's just the Sudoku. Oh, somebody said I didn't grab the metal detector. Well, that would explain why I can't do metal detecting. just given that metal detector to Nancy automatically. What a pain. Alright. Usually in these games, this, the person just gives Nancy the item automatically. Oh well. Sorry about that. I do like the pink sand, it is nice. Traveling around in these golf carts just takes forever. I'm sorry, it is long and torturous. Now, maybe that I have the metal detector, I can do the metal detecting challenge at Shark Cove. Nope, okay, fine. Then that's definitely a second half of the game puzzle. Yeah, it would have been nice if I was a, a good person and I got fruit for Cuckoo the Parrot, but I did not. I don't want to play those monkey games. Sorry, Cuckoo. I, I like you, but I'm not going to play the monkey games. Just so Cuckoo can have fruit. Yeah, that's, that's why we'd play those monkey games for extra fruit. But, I mean, you saw how long it took me to play those games, right? Sailing is somewhat difficult, but here we go. Here's where we're sailing. Alrighty. Nancy should find the sea urchins, like, down here, right? Trying to find the right place where those sea urchins are. Here they are. Found them. And then the treasure chest is going to be somewhere on the sunken ship. You can see that red line for the metal detector. Found it! Okay. Now we need to solve this, uh... Sudoku puzzle, and it's really difficult because we have to do it underwater at the same time. I'm trying to figure out where would the yellow go. Don't see any places where the yellow might go. I'm going to look for the green. So green is obviously going to go top row. Um, man, I don't see anywhere else where the green can go. Pink, then. Pink that row. I, I found a pink. 
Hooray, I found one pink. Because uh, the row above it is taken, and the row below it is taken. That's the only empty spot in uh, in the middle. 3x3 three three square. It's underwater Sudoku. That's what this puzzle is. Okay. So filling in that pink doesn't do anything for me on the top, uh, top middle. Darn, darn, darn. I'm not seeing anywhere else where's the pink. Let's do red then. Don't see a red there. Um, red's going to be in the top, but that doesn't help. Okay, let's do purple. We have nothing to help with purple. Those purples don't intersect in any good spots, darn. Okay, teal. Teal is going to be a left-hand side, but... Uh, um, Here, found a teal. So it's going to be uh, here. Not here, not here, and not here. Therefore, there. That's where teal is. Now, because Nancy is uh, breathing underwater... Okay, that's light. That's light blue. Because we are underwater, we have to do this. We have to mine Nancy's oxygen meter. Otherwise, well, it's just... Otherwise, Nancy's going to drown. And that would be bad. I see another light. Light one here. Great. So light blue is clearly the best slash easiest. Okay. So on the left-hand side, we're going to have a light blue um, in those two spots. Because we're going to have it in one of these two spots because this is taken and that's taken. So it's going to be one of these spots, which means the top one's going to have to be one of these two. It's not this one because that's already taken. So it's here. Hopefully I'm not wasting too much time with explanations. Okay. I might... Nope. Wow. I was about to say I might get all of the light blues figured out. But that's just... Whew. Man. So let's see. Now we now we need all uh, orange. Orange is nice, and then orange is gonna have to be here. Great, and then the other orange is gonna be here. So one of those two is going to be orange. One of those two is going to be... Okay, can't figure out any other orange. Now let's do the... Uh, was it dark dark green? I mean, somebody said orange looks solvable. I think those are all the oranges we can fit. Ooh, dark green. Found a dark green. Like, it can't be this row or this column. So dark green has to be here. So dark green plus dark green... Now, I don't see how that opens up anything else, though. I don't see how that opens up anything else. So now that I've put in a put, now that I've put a bunch of pieces on the board, I will be able to figure it out. Yeah, working this out on a piece of paper is probably the easiest way to do it. Uh, you know, just just write it down on a piece of paper using one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine instead of colors. That seems to help. A lot of people seem to be thrown off by the fact that it's Sudoku with colors instead of numbers. All right, so yellow, all done with this particular row. So that means this has to be a yellow there. So yellow and yellow, um, that means one of these two spots has to be a yellow as well. Don't know which of those spots is the yellow. And because this row's yellow and this row's yellow, the only yellow in this three by three is here. So that's where yellow has to go there. Yeah, I still need to find a way to get yellow on the top of the board. I'm not finding any obvious spot where yellow must be. So let's do green. Light green. I'm not seeing anything good for light green either. Uh, yeah. Yep, no. Wait, I think I do. Light green can't be this row, and it can't be this column, therefore it's in that spot. Nice. Okay, so we did get a light green on top. Now let's get a, a purple. Uh, uh, pink, pink, let's see. Um, 
Yeah, not seeing any place with pink. Let's go with red as well. Red is going to have to be the top in one of those two spots, but I don't see which one of those. Nope. Okay, let's go with the purple then. Ah, here we go. Found a purple. So purple can't be in this column, therefore purple here is in that one. So if purple's in that row and purple's in that row, purple must be in this row. Yes, alright. So that clears up some of the board, giving us a lot of purple. Now, uh... Teal. Is there anything extra I can figure out with teal? Teal can't be here or here. Okay, got it, yeah. Teal can't be in this row. It can't be in this column or this row. Therefore, it's here. Teal is not in this column. Teal is not in this column. Teal is not in this row. Therefore, it's here. Got ourselves a lot of teal figured out, or at least two teals. Alrighty then, teal and teal, um, that's it for teal. So with, uh, it, it is kind of hard to see this puzzle though, that I will, I will admit that, just where they've got everything placed, it's, it's not ideal. Okay, I think I see a light blue, because light blue is not in this row, and it's not in this column, therefore it's here. So if light blue is not in this column, or I mean this row, or this row, because we already have blues there, it has to be here. It can't be in this column, so it's here. Hey, that's the final light blue. We've got all the light blues in place. We figured it out. We are fantastic light blue people. <laughs> um, can't figure out how to do anything with the orange. Let's do the dark green. Not seeing anything with the dark green green either um yeah 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 oh okay so here's an example on the far right hand column take a look at the far right hand column i've got eight of the colors in place what's the one color i haven't got in place is it the red it's the red so red is the only one that's not in that particular column therefore i know that one has to be red i find that solution and that helps with a lot of Sudoku puzzles. Actually, we can see this with the two middle rows, too. The two middle rows. These are both lacking one thing. So, um, it's not yellow. It's not green. It's not pink. It's not the red. It's not the purple. It's purple. They both need a purple. Okay. But because this is a color Sudoku puzzle, I just find it tougher to realize the solution of, hey, I'm only missing one more color. I don't know why. I find it easy to notice when I'm missing one more uh, number. So like in the center, centermost one, it looks like it's going to need a red. And it's going to need... Pink? No, it's got pink. It's got... It's going to need a red... And a purple. So red and purple are the ones missing there. Well, we know purple is in this column, so the purple has to be here, which means the red has to be there. Hopefully, hopefully that helps. I, you know, I hope this does not. I don't think this is going to make. I don't think I can run out of. I, I, I think I can solve this without running out of air. I think I can do this quickly enough. I'll just do more explanations in my head, or, or not out loud. I'll do less demonstrating where these puzzle pieces need to go. How's that? I think that would be better. So now I'm just doing yellow. So yellow there, yellow there. Yellow's gonna have to be top row. I already knew that, though. Okay. Now let's see where green goes. Green in the top middle. It's gonna have to be there. That's the only place where green can go, which means the green is gonna be in the bottom middle there. Which means the green... Let's see if I can find the other green. The other greens... Nope, can't figure out where the other green is. Okay, now let's do pink. Pink is... Oh, man. Can't... Can't say anything for sure with pink. Oh, top right square is missing one of the pieces. It's going to be the dark green. Excellent. So that, that helps a little bit, I suppose. Every little bit helps with this puzzle. 
trying to figure out where those reds would be, and I'm not coming up with anything. Oh, found a red. Bottom right needs a red. Red can only be there. If that's a bottom right, bottom right red, then the other red is gonna be top... Uh, this one. That's gonna be a red there, based on the red in the upper middle square. Upper middle 3x3 three three is gonna be second column. And because it's second column, is this one. Alright, fantastic. So that means our final red is gonna be here. In the middle. Fantastic. Okay. See, I think I can do this before we run out of, of space. Before we run out of space. I mean, run out of air. Okay, so, um, middle, middle, I think we can figure out the middle, um, fourth column from the left. Fourth column from the left is missing one color. That color is a dark green. So, uh, sixth column from the left is also missing a color. Oh, that's also dark green, I think. Now the bottom middle 3x3 three three is missing a color. That color is purple. Upper middle 3x3 three three is missing a color. That color is going to be pink. So I feel like that helps a lot. So now we can place the pink in the upper left-hand corner because it's going to have to be here. The upper left-hand 3x3. Three three. Sorry, I should have been more specific there. So let's just start from the beginning again. Okay, yellow here. Last yellow is going to be here. That is not the last yellow. Okay, final yellow is going to be there then. And definitely, yeah, definitely we've got enough on the board figured out. That shouldn't be too much trouble. Can't figure out where green is. Pink is going to be here. I thought that was the last pink. I'm wrong. Here's the last pink. Bottom right-hand corner needs one more color. That will be the green that I couldn't figure out. So with that green in place, I can figure out the green in the bottom left-hand 3x3. Three three. And with that, we can figure out the green that goes here, because we already have a green in those other two columns of that particular 3x3 uh, three three area. So, purple, purple, where are you gonna go purple? Purple is gonna have to be in the bottom left corner of the bottom left quadrant. Now we're gonna need teal. Teal here, so teal there. Okay, now we just need orange. This is gonna be an orange there. Meaning this is gonna be an orange there and the last two places last two places are greens. Great, good, fantastic. And now Nancy can leave. Where's the boat? Here it is. Something which is not entirely obvious is that we take a look at this, and that gives us the symbols. Yes, and that gives us the symbols so we can translate the rest of those things in the book. Okay, so these symbols are. I'm gonna have to say them. So, gargantuan ears, I believe. A N. So those particular... We're looking for the bats with the gargantuan ears, and they devour... Devour the insects attracted to our lanterns. I don't think the lanterns is like a puzzle, though. Okay, explored... Explored the island, but the we are looking for something at the highest point. Highest point found a view most worthy. 
half a fathom tall. The astrolabe guides the way to a flying dove in a watery grave. Divers swim down to the entombed. I don't know what that is. Um, six loops. Oh, I already solved that puzzle, though. Um, whoops. Six loops of a 50-pound rope over some pulleys. More losses at the blue hole. You need to follow the signs. So I think with this one, the symbols are the same over each thing. Like, that was the symbol for G. And it was also the symbol for G here. So maybe that's what's supposed to help. Uh, like, what, what was the Z symbol and what was the I symbol? symbol was B E so that must mean this is I N behind and then let's see if I can recognize those other two symbols from somewhere else on this book well, there's the T H so that means this has to be the word death D behind death there all decoded. We did it! Woo, everybody! Oh man. Okay, so we finally, we finally did a lot. Um, somebody's asking about the haunting of Castle Malloy stream. YouTube. I, I, I don't want to be mean to YouTube, but it cut me off in the middle of my final sentence. So it, you know. I finished talking, and then I pressed the end stream button, and then the YouTube version of the video cut me off in the middle of my final sentence. It did not wait that extra three seconds or however long. So now I have to do a bunch of editing. Uh, I mean, I'm recording a copy on my computer while I'm live streaming, so that's the copy of the stream which is going to go up. Now that's happened with a lot of these live streams where I have to repost the entire thing later because YouTube either cut off a I second at forgotten. the start or at the end or it forgot to cut off a second at the start. A have you ever seen that where at the start of the video I'm just quiet for 10 seconds and then it and then it starts the, the actual commentary and I'm like, I like, I can't get that that programming now that be all just ready to make another dive so really what I should do I think what I have to do is just start talking as soon as I start live streaming as soon as I hit the start button and uh, when it comes to ending the stream I should be quiet for like five seconds that's what I'm gonna try doing in the future it, it's really a bummer because if if I don't if I don't get this timing correct all those comments disappear all the comments on the live stream we are definitely not alone on this island it's it's sad, yeah. You can't see the live chat if 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 you know the, the the video is edited in any way, which is weird. Anyway, um, hey, how are you doing, George? Are you all right? You sound weird. I've been hearing footsteps, like people creeping around outside. They're always gone by the time I go to look, but after a while, I'll hear them again, and it's starting to get to me. George. What is George hearing? Because there's nobody else on the island here. It's just the monkeys. Maybe it's just monkeys or birds moving around in the grass or something. It's people, Nancy. Several people. Maybe it's the kidnappers. Look, even if it is, and you still don't know that for a fact, you can't let it stop you from working on that phone. Calling for help may be the only way we're going to get off this island. You're right. I'm acting like an idiot. From now on, no matter what I hear outside, I'm just going to ignore it and focus. Although if you could somehow make the noises stop, I'd really appreciate it. Have you talked to the parrot over there? 
Yeah, but it acts like it doesn't like me. I think it's related to a parrot I met over in England. Is that good or bad? That parrot was actually very helpful. It'd give me hints. Of course, I'd have to feed it first, but this one does tricks. Really? Maybe I'll try talking to it again. Yeah, that's a great parrot. I followed the directions on the kidnapper's note and dug up El Toro's old journal. So you know where the treasure is? Uh, not exactly, no. The journal doesn't give its precise location. After all, El Toro didn't want just anybody to find it, but I'm working on it. Anything else? I keep finding dials all over the place. Do you think they're important? Um, yes. I mean, the journal says I need to find them all. What is that look on George's face? George, George just needs a nap at this point. I hope so. Because despite their cumbersomeness, you feel strangely compelled to collect them. You know, Nance, if this detective stuff doesn't pan out, there may just be a career for you in trash collection. <laughs> Very funny, George. In order to follow the clues in El Toro's journal, I've had to do some scuba diving. Scuba diving? Are you nuts? With all the sharks around here? George, contrary to what the movies would have you believe, sharks rarely attack humans. Especially when they live in a healthy ecosystem like this, where they have lots of real fish to eat. If I don't bother them, they're not going to bother me. Are you sure? Positive. Well, still... If a shark gets too close, you just pretend it's one of the kidnappers and punch it right in the nose. Did you know you can play games with the monkeys here on the island? I read that they were taught to play games. You've actually played a game with them? And won, although it wasn't easy. They even gave me a prize, which turned out to be something they'd pilfered. They steal things, huh? Wonder what human taught them that. I drove out to Sangre Beach. Any sign of Bess? Well, I found her golf cart. Empty, and I saw one of her shoes, and then I discovered that a fisherman named Johnny Roll is camping there. He's kind of a beach bum. He's also very paranoid. You found one of her shoes on the same beach as a paranoid beach bum? I don't like the sound of that. Does he know anything about Bess? He says he doesn't, and he's a total liar, but... Nancy, for whatever reason, is off of her detective game right now, so she totally believes him. He says he doesn't, and I'm inclined to believe him. I don't know, Nance. Some fisherman just happens to be camping on the very beach where Bess disappears. That's way too much of a coincidence for me. Bess isn't at his campsite. Believe me, I looked. Without even meeting this guy, I don't like him and I don't trust him. I think we... Okay, you should keep an eye on him. I better get back to work. You know where to find me. I feel like George is a better detective than Nancy here. Here's the island again. I found that bowl of guavas, but if you give one to that parrot, stand back. She loves them. Hooray! Yay! All right, so we got some guavas for Cooper the parrot. Ah, detective Drew should get a clue. It just so happens I have a guava here, so how about a hint? Treat first! Treat first! Cuckoo want treat first! Don't make me regret this. Mm, mm, mm. So what do you want to know? Now what am I supposed to do with that astrolabe thing? Study what's in El Toro's book without fail. Do all that it says and you'll see where to sail. Great. I really appreciate your help. Smarter than you! Smarter than you! <laughs> Alright, that actually was not helpful, Cuckoo. What, what is up with that? I've seen a metal rod that height. The one Cuckoo the parrot is perched on. Yeah, Nancy and, Nancy and George are pretty relaxed about this situation. They should be way more amped up over the fact that their best friend is kidnapped. That's a really interesting perch you've got there, Cuckoo. Nice perch, nice perch. Cuckoo love perch. Yeah, well, the thing is, I kind of need it. Look, how about I trade you that perch for an even nicer one? Treat for trade, treat for trade. Cuckoo want fruit, 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 fruit. <sighs> Why am I not surprised?
I've got a treat here. Now, what kind of new perch would you like? Treat first, treat first. Driftwood. You want a piece of driftwood for a perch? Driftwood for perch! Driftwood for perch! Ah! See you later, Cuckoo. Bye-bye. This is tough, yeah. This can be a tough puzzle, just trying to find the correct piece of driftwood. Now, the game does try to make it seem like there are other people on the island besides for Johnny, but I don't think it does a good job with that. I think it's kind of obvious Johnny's the only other person on the island. <laughs> Maybe that's because I know this is a video game and the programmers have limited resources when it comes to creating characters. George is a dumbhead! George is a dumbhead! I heard that! Here you go! A nice new driftwood perch. All right, hopefully this is a good one. Not right, not right. What's wrong with it? Three branches. Cuckoo on perch with three branches. Oh, come on. Just snap off one of the branches, Nancy. No, but Nancy's forced to go back and look again. I'll see what I can do. Cuckoo on new perch. <laughs> well, ciao for now. Find perch, find perch. There's uh, a few places where you can look for driftwood. Here, I mean, I always hope it's here because this is the close one. That's a piece. One, two, three. Hooray! I think that's a piece as well. So let's hope this is the correct one. It would be terrible if you had to give her a treat every time you brought a new perch. Yeah, that would be the worst. The perch is... The perches are definitely in random spots. They, they change every time you play the game, which makes this puzzle kind of worse. Ratchy, scratchy, ratchy, ratchy, I have another perch for you. What do you think? Kugel, love it! Hand it over, hand it over! Gimme, give gimme, give gimme! Give Okay, okay, take it easy. We got it. Hooray! New perch! New perch! Very nice! Now that you have a new perch, I'll take your old one, thank you. Oh my gosh, these headlines are about cases that I help solve. Oh, what's going on here? Yep, those are magazines. Newspapers, sorry. Newspapers from previous pretty games. Pretty bird, pretty bird. Pretty perch for the pretty bird. Guess who's got a treat for Cuckoo? Treat for Cuckoo, treat for Cuckoo. Hand it over. You're going to have to do a trick. Treat first, treat first. Cuckoo want treat first. Cuckoo does like five or so different mm, tricks. Mm, mm. Prepare to be amazed. Aww. Oh yeah, Cuckoo rocks! <laughs> Aww, I do love how confident Cuckoo is about her fantastic trick. Okay, so we do need to solve this bird puzzle. Looks like this thing needs Sorry. a battery. Bat puzzle. Looks like this needs to be put together. So we need to put these... This one's simple enough, I think. You just want to put all the pieces on the board so they're all... There we go. Just get all the pieces on the board. There we go. And now I just hope these smaller pieces all fit nicely. It's too expensive here. It's too expensive here. <laughs> Your cuckoo say that. That was cute. Obviously repeating things she's heard from other people. Oh no, did I do something wrong? Huh. I 
think that piece was wrong. Oh man. Oh no. It's hot outside. Well darn. Oh man. Those snap together well. Knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> it's kind of fun. Let me try this. So I guess the circle thing is the exact same width as the other battery pieces. When in doubt, whack them on the snout. What is that saying, Cuckoo? When in doubt, whack him on the snout. Who wants to go shark diving? Not me. Seems dangerous. Yeah, I can't get that one. Okay, um... That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Try again. I felt like there was an obvious spot for this big one, but I don't see it. I guess it's the bottom right. Like, that was the only spot I could think of which, which fit. Thing I've ever heard. Okay. I think this is the exact same solution I had earlier, which didn't work. Why am I trying it again? saying that, okay? You're being very, very, very rude, Cuckoo. There we go. That looks right. Got it. But I still need a battery. I still need a battery. I have to get the battery from Johnny Roll. And I go diving at the, the blue hole place. So I'm going to do that as well. I need to go diving there to see that it's dark. I need some underwater glow sticks from Johnny. He's going to have a puzzle for me. And it's actually down there. Yeah, it might have been interesting if Ned was in this game. That would have been cool. gonna work. I can't see a thing. There we go. So I've confirmed it's very dark and I need some underwater glow sticks. Let's go to Johnny and get those underwater glow sticks. He also has a battery. So I'm basically trying to to kill two birds with one stone here. No offense to Cuckoo. is it now? Do you think you could give me an underwater glow stick? I think I can do this, yes. Great! If you program my GPS with the obstacles on this chart, I will not be able to navigate away from this island until this is done. Is there a reason why you don't program it? A very good reason, because you are here and you want the glow stick. And because if you do this, when I get to San Salvador Island, I will send the police to help you and your friend. All right. Why does he have a glow stick? I am beginning to like this relationship, Nancy Drew. I always thought that was weird. It's like, why does this guy have a glow stick in the middle of nowhere? Anyway, let's do this puzzle. 2351. And then 73.48. They are all here on this, so let's see. I think what you do is you, you do math to determine each one is 
three. Yeah, each line is three away from the others. Okay? And so knowing that each line travels uh, three, that's how you're able to get the, the coordinates for all of them. Okay, 23, 54, and then 74, 12. But once you, when, I mean, it's okay when you're figuring this out by yourself, but once you've got this, like, figured out to solve the puzzle, it's not really a fun puzzle to redo. And it's not too fun like this when I'm just reading the coordinates out loud from my previous time. And 7324. Excellent. And then it's gonna be up here. As you can see, I just sorted them according to northern numbers. I don't know if that's obvious, but it is in fact how this thing's figured out. That's how I sorted it. Alrighty. So now we're at 2409. We've got 7418. And then 7342. And then finally, it's going to be 2418. 7327. All right, all done. Here you go, Johnny. What is it now? I finished programming your GPS. You'll be able to drive your boat away from here with no problem. You do fine work. Here is the glow stick. Thank you. That is all? Would you by any chance have a 9-volt battery that I could have? I do, but if you want it, you must iron it. While fishing from my boat, I lost a beacon which I must have to navigate. I am pretty sure it became snagged on some rocks as I passed by and was pulled off. By the time I realized it was missing, the monkeys had damaged my boat and I could not go back out. And so you must retrieve it for me. Sail directly northwest from this beach until you see the two sharp rocks. If you sail between them, you are sure to find my beacon. I can do that. Then the battery will soon be yours. All right, let's go. We need to get that battery. The beacon is northwest, so we're gonna go sailing there. It's funny, earlier on, Johnny said, I do not need your help when Nancy offered to help him. But he's been doing nothing but give Nancy chores. It sounds like he did, in fact, need her help. In fact, he needed a lot of help from her. Alright, let's head out over here. Gonna be to the northwest. Come on, come on, let's sail, Nancy. There we go. Sort of have to spin around in a circle there. just go right back to where we were. Come on. 
Yeah, now I'm stuck because the wind is blowing the uh, completely opposite direction. The wind always seems to go against me. It makes me very sad. Alright, so we're gonna give Johnny the beacon and then we'll get the um, bats. Let's get the bat number figured out. The bat frequency, the ones with gargantuan ears. Let's see. Slight ears. Extra large ears are the water house. So it's 6, 15. Is that 15? No, that's 16. So we're looking for bats on um, number 16. is it now? I retrieved your beacon for you. Here you go. Good. And here is your battery. Thank you. That is all? That's all I wanted to ask. Good. So the battery... Looks like this thing needs a battery. I use the battery on it. Decided it was 16, so let's go. Now we need to find the bats in uh, place 16. Wrong turn off. Basically, I go to every single bat hole, and I try one. I try until I get number 16. Nope, that's not it. I'm doing a good job of dodging, I say, as I get hit. This is it. 16. Alright, we found it. It's only the second one there. Nancy goes in and pushes the button and immediately gets stuck. Well, that was kind of dumb. No, it's not my fault you make dumb moves, Nancy. There's something over there. Maybe I can use that beam of light to find out what. George? Hello? Is someone out there? Hmm, guess not. This is a kind of difficult puzzle. Got it. Never mind. Not too difficult. Found the camel dial and this for the underwater diving puzzle. Pick up, George, please. I'm here. What's wrong? Over. I'm trapped in a cave, and there's not much air in here. Over. Don't worry. I'll get you out. Just tell me where this cave is. Over. Take the road that bisects the island and turn right when the road ends, and then turn right again when you see the big limestone monolith. I'm in the cave with a big rock in front of it. Over. Hang in there. I'm on my way. Over and out. 
Excellent. So now George is just going to run over there, I think, right? Yeah, George runs all the way to Nancy. Good job, George. I'm surprised George made it that far. Ouch. Ow! Darn. It's too far for Nancy to walk, but apparently not too far for George. As I mentioned earlier on. It's like, yeah, George apparently is athletic enough to, to run all the way Nancy? here. While Nancy Are you in isn't. there? Yes, I can hear you. I'm in here. Can you move the rock that's blocking the entrance? Ugh, no way. This thing weighs a ton. It lowered into place when I pressed something, so there's got to be a way to make it go back up. Look around out there, okay? I found something. I'm not sure what. Figure it out, George. You can do it, okay? Okay. So this is a puzzle. It's a jigsaw puzzle, I think. There we go, jigsaw puzzle. What we need to do is pick up the pieces and put them into place. It's kind of tough. But when this game first came out, I was all over this puzzle. I'm like, oh, yes, it's so clever. I'm trying to pick up these pieces here. I'm trying to find the final piece that goes there. Bottom right hand one. A bottom left hand one is pretty easy. So much. Yes. Oh, okay. Do you guys want to see me solve this puzzle legitimately, or do you want to see me... I mean, I've got a screenshot of what the puzzle looks like. Yeah. I feel like we needed a bit more help in terms of which which piece goes where. This one's not so obvious. Yeah. Let me let me at least take a look at the solution there. Okay, so this is gonna be the camel, this is gonna be the belly and the legs, and then that's gonna be the hump there. up certain pieces. Sometimes it's hard to get the game to just know what piece it is you're trying to pick up. Okay, let me move that. Well, if these are the legs, then it's going to have to be... something like this. No... I don't know what piece... Hmm... So I'm trying to figure out where those legs are. My picture of the solution says so the leg goes here. And we're just gonna have another leg piece somewhere. Drama? Oh man, what's this? That leg piece goes there. That piece must go there, meaning that piece goes here? There we go, that's the camel's mouth. That's actually relatively easy to figure that one out. Okay, that has to go there, right? That has to be the camel's good leg, maybe? No. That's got to be the camel's neck, so the camel's neck... 
no idea where the camel's neck is going to be. That goes there. Obviously, those two pieces go together. Well, it would be nice if I could rotate that piece, but I can't. Ooh, that looks like a good, good, good match right there, right? And then that leg has to go there. Let's say that's the neck. Yeah. That looks great. That looks relatively good. Upper right. This here. This there. This there. This there. This there. I'm getting there, Nance. Got it. What started out as a jigsaw puzzle just turned into a slider puzzle. You can do it, George. Just keep at it. It's getting a little hard to breathe in here, so it probably wouldn't hurt to, you know, hurry. Calm down, Nancy. I will figure out this slider puzzle, I think. Let's see. The neck is... That's going to be the neck, right? So what's the piece that goes under the neck? Like, there's the neck. Is it going to be this one, or is it going to be this one? Is it going to be these legs? Nope, it's going to be the other legs. All right, so then let's get the other legs over here in this empty spot right now. That way I can slide the neck and the legs. You know, those don't look good either. So maybe the empty spot is this bottom left one. Maybe that's it. In which case, we're going to work from the opposite of the bottom left, which is here. Uh, no, if the empty spot is here, bottom right, we're going to start on the top left. Hopefully that makes sense. So those two pieces are going to go together there on the bottom right. All right, sounds good. That's, I'm sorry, I keep saying left and right interchangeably when I don't mean to. Left-hand side is completely finished. That's what I'm doing here. I'm doing the entire left-hand side. Could have done the entire top hand, top side, too. Didn't, for whatever reason. Okay, so these are the top two there. I did it. Done. Nancy, I did it! George, just in time. Whoa, there's like no air in here. Tell me about it. Are you okay? I am now, thanks. Did you see anyone out there? No. Hello, hello. Sound disappeared. Sorry about that, everybody. Let's save this game as a live stream. Let's save it as seven chips. And then reopen it. So I'll, I'll close the game and then restart the game in just a moment. Don't worry, I'm still here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Hey, you could hear that. Why is that a thing? Okay. Let's get our game going. Should be here. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. Sorry about that minor disturbance. Here we are. We're back where we were. Oh, no, that's it. No, wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. I don't want to save right there. I want to grab this. Check it out. Well, well. Looks like when it comes to Johnny Roll, things aren't quite what they seem. Yes, Johnny Roll is not actually Johnny Roll. He is John Poole from Victoria. I think that's Australia.
Excellent. So we're going to see Johnny roll and confront him over the fact that he is somebody else in disguise. But first I'm going to go up to the where to the monkeys area. That's where the astrolabe puzzle is, and I'd like to get that out of the way. That would be nice. Here we go. So we're going to get rid of the monkeys using the sea urchin. Great, that gets rid of them. And the journal said the highest point you want to use a, a fathom tall thing, which is this. I mean, that's the perch. The perch was Wait, a fathom tall. what's that? Looks like somebody's moving through those bushes way across the island. So with this, we need to find an island. Let's see. There's an island to the southwest and then an island to the northeast. Let's see if I can find it. That must be Half Moon Reef. It's a lot easier to just try every single thing until you get it right, <laughs> to be honest, as opposed to actually solving the puzzle. But the legitimate way is to take a look. I'll see what the legitimate way is. But it missed it there. No. Hello, Devile. Yep. The legitimate way is this. Solve that puzzle. Just use those numbers to figure it out. So what was that? It's like, okay, you take 110, you go 20, then plus 80, then 10 again. Uh, or then 110? I don't know. So that's where we find those two other islands, and those islands will both have puzzles for us to solve. down here. Okay. Let's do it. Let's let's confront Johnny. Now it is possible you might miss that uh, particular sequence finding the a as you saw, you can miss that. You can get to the end of the game without learning Johnny's Australian. Either way, um, this leads to the problem which people have with the game. Let me uh, pull that back up here. Not that one. Where, as her interactive said, uh, there is a character who disguises himself as different ethnicities. And that's the problem with the game, is that Johnny, whether he's Australian or whether he's a New Yorker, the fact of the matter is he is somebody who is pretending to be Jamaican when he is not. And this is going to be the scene about that. What is it now? I want the truth. Who are you really? I do not know what you mean. How come I found an ID that indicates you're Australian? Actually, never mind. All I really want to know is, where is Bess? I do not know where your friend is. That is the truth. This also is the truth. I'm not Jamaican. I'm from Australia. My real name's John Poole. Awesome. Now tell me something I don't know. I'm, or at least I was, an accountant. Only I discovered a bit too much about one of my dodgier clients. As a result, he sent some henchmen after me to make sure I never tell the authorities. So now, Wherever I go, in order to survive, I change my name and my appearance. Nancy's a detective. You should hire her to uh, protect you, sir. That's why you followed me? You thought I was one of them? The guys who are after me? They're very smart and very determined. They'll stoop to anything, they'll stop at nothing. My only hope is to lie low, keep moving, and trust no one. Be nice if you could keep quiet about running into me. 
But if you can't, no worries. As soon as I fix this engine, old Johnny Poole will be history. The other people you've seen on the island, are they the ones who are after you? Not a chance. If they were, me, you, they'd have done us all in first thing. My enemies are ruthless. I'm guessing those people have got something to do with your missing friend. But if you think I'm gonna help you find her, sorry, love. I got my own problems. That's it for now. Fine by me. Yeah, I mean, obviously that's a fake story. Johnny's the culprit. He has to be the culprit. There's nobody else in this game. But still, I mean, I'm not sure that accountant story is very believable. Yeah, so he was wearing a fake wig, and uh, I think it was a nose ring that he took off. So if you didn't find the Australian thing, don't worry, at the very end of the game, where the culprit's identity is revealed, Johnny will, um, that's when Johnny takes off the wig and the nose ring. So that either happens at the end of the game or when you confront him over the whole fake Australian thing. Alrighty. Hey, George, anything new with you? How's it going? Wow, there is lots to talk to her about. I'm pretty much convinced the Gibsons are the ones who kidnapped Bess in order to get me to find that treasure for them. But why you? I mean, you don't even know them, do you? Maybe I do. Maybe Gibson isn't their real name. Frankly, at this point, I don't really care who kidnapped her. Getting her back in one piece, that's all that matters. When I climbed to the top of the Bat Caves, I saw something, or someone, moving through the bushes on the other side of the island. You think it was the kidnappers? I hope it wasn't. Because if it was the kidnappers, there's a lot of them. Or if there's just one, he's really big. I told you we weren't alone. Turns out our Jamaican beach bum is really an Australian accountant, hiding out from a vengeful ex-client. So the fisherman thing is all an act? Looks that way. So we're right back where we started from. Darn this phone! I'm gonna get it to work if it's the last thing I do. Excellent. I wish I could get another guava from here. There's clearly another guava. I could give it to Cuckoo. Fancy, 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 fancy. Well, ciao for now. Bye-bye. Alrighty. So, now we get to go sailing to either of those... Are those two islands we found? Let's let the wind decide. Okay, the wind is blowing to the east, so let's go to the eastern of the two islands. It was uh, northeast, right? And the wind has turned south because I was sailing there. Don't worry! I can still make it there in time. Woohoo! Well, and I like how this is the rocket ship from Haunting of Castle Malloy. I, I think that's very, very cute. What's that? What's what? A Tosha. A Tosha. I'll bet that's the galleon El Toro mentioned. The one that sank. Excellent. So Nancy needs George, to get can you hear me? The it's Nancy. From Over. That. Where are you? Over. On a little island that's right across from the resort. Listen, I need to find out the date that a Spanish ship called the Atosha sank. I'm pretty sure there's a placard in the shed that has the date on it. So I need for you to go to the shed, look at the placard, then call me back with a date, okay? Over. I can do that. Whoa, what was that? What was what? Over. Are you outside? No, why? Over. And I think you may have a prowler. Maybe you should... Go take a look. I'm on it. Over and out. <laughs> Those are clearly monkeys. George, do something instead of just staying in place and doing nothing. George. Quick, quick! Oh, look outside! Okay, okay, what is it? Oh man, the monkeys must have broken into the shed. Wah, wah, wah. So just when Nancy needs that coin, the coin is stolen by monkeys. In celebration of the date the Atosha sank, which is inscribed on its front, this commemorative silver coin. Oh no, the coin's gone. Those monkeys are not only vandals, they're also thieves. That's just peachy. And Nancy need, I mean, George needs to get that coin from the monkeys. Very sad, so let's see. Those are, I don't know what those are. That looks like it's Seattle, that's Venice, and that's something else. Okay, Cuckoo. Cuckoo. 
I, I want to see if Cuckoo can talk to George. <laughs> what do you want? Actually, I just felt like bugging you. You can play that game, sister. <laughs> oh, my ears! You're really bugging me! Stop! Cuckoo rolls. Oh, yeah. Cuckoo rolls. <laughs> oh, man. Cuckoo rules. So, as George, we can confront Johnny. I feel like... I mean, this is good, but why can't Nancy confront Johnny? I wish I wish Nancy was as angry with Johnny as George is, because George does not buy what he's selling. What are you doing here? My name's George Fane. I'm a friend of Nancy Drew, and I'm looking for Nancy's other friend, Bess Marvin. The one who was kidnapped? Sorry, love. Don't know anything about her. I don't believe you. It's the truth. Take it or leave it. Now, if you'll kindly get out of my hair, I've got a motor to fix. Finding Bess is a lot more important than fixing some stupid motor. Hey, any more from you and maybe I won't get your help when I dock at San Salvador Island after all. Now get lost. Sorry, I'm not going anywhere until you help me find Bess. Hey. Hey! Hey! Yoo-hoo! Hello! Oh, come on, talk to me! She should have brought Cuckoo out here. Cuckoo would have gotten him to talk. Don't ignore me! Hey! Ugh! So, that's what the game does. <laughs> uh, Johnny just kind of ignores George. Very sad, very tragic. But I do like that they have that optional conversation where George just gets mad at Johnny. That feels way more realistic than Nancy doing all of Johnny's chores. Yeah, Nancy and George, if they work together, they should be able to to take him. They could, like, beat him up or something. Tie him up until he tells the truth. I don't know. That would have been a violent solution. I don't think the game would have gone with that. Would you like to play a game? So this is the third monkey game. This one is just random chance. You just have to hope to get lucky. Oh, darn. So you get sent back to the start if you land on square number 13, square number 25, or if you land on one of the other pieces. Wow, did George just get two ones in a row? Poor George. <laughs> okay, of four. That's good. I still think Blue Monkey's gonna win. Oh, come on. Just the fact that this game is totally... This pure luck is something I don't like. So hopefully this will go faster than those other monkey games. Because I, I, what, did I spend 20 minutes trying to play that one game? Excellent. <laughs> People in the chat singing George of the Jungle. George, George, George of the Jungle, strong as he can be. Oh, look out for that tree. The TV show, and all I know is that theme song, because I've never seen a TV show. It's 
like, yeah, I wish my brain could remember, like, people's names and important dates and history. But instead, my brain says, no, you need to remember all the words to this TV theme song. Theme songs for shows which just aren't even on the air anymore. My brain thinks it's very important to remember those. I lost to a monkey. I hate that. Oh. Do you really know how to play a game? It's like if I could make a deal to say, hey, I never confuse the names of my two kids again. But in exchange, I don't remember the name of... I don't remember the George of the Jungle theme song. I would totally make that deal. If a magic genie gave me that deal, I, I would totally take it. Now if it was the Adams Family theme song, I don't know about that. Uh, I mean, that uh, is a pretty good theme. Wow, Green Monkey is just rocking and rolling. Yeah, these monkeys are cheaters. If I get like a six here, I could win. Nope, got sent all the way back to the start. I mean, in my defense um, about mixing up my daughter's names, it's not on purpose. But in my defense, my daughters mix up our names, so... Rosie calls me mom a lot, like way more than she should. I'll be like, hey, it's time for bed, and she'll be like, mom, I don't want to go to bed. I'm like, I'm not mom. I can't believe I lost. That monkey is a cheater. Would you like to play a game? Yeah, remembering the kids' birthdays is pretty easy. Unless you've got, like, a ton of kids, and then it's tougher. That's like anything else. Remembering dates. Some dates are easier to remember than others. Song lyrics are pretty easy to remember. Well, clearly what I need to do is take a song and rewrite the lyrics so it's with my kids' names and birthdays. That way I never forget them. So close to winning. Um, with remembering songs from uh, the kid, because I've noticed my one, uh, as you, both of my daughters are on the live stream, so, um, 
know, Mirai, now that she's in middle school, she doesn't remember a lot of those little kids' songs. I blew that. Oh, come on! That's not fair! So, like, My Little Pony, we had a CD of My Little Pony songs that Mary just listened to incessantly. I would like to She's play a game She's also a big fan of Let It Go as well. But, so I, I, I took out that old pony CD, um, played it. She didn't remember any of the songs on that. with Rosie, although Rosie's much younger. She doesn't remember uh, Where is Thumpkin, which is a baby song. She didn't remember the baby songs, basically. Because we went to visit a baby recently, and so I had reason to sing baby songs again. Maniacs did have some great songs to, to remember things. Um, Six September, sixteen twenty-two. There's, there's Montgomery, Alabama, shore south of Helena, Montana. Da, 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 da. North Dakota has Pierre. Oh, I'm totally forgetting. I never memorized that song though, so it's not my fault. Uh, let's just call George calling Nancy. Nancy Come in, again. Nancy. Over. Hey, George. Did you find out the date? Over. Yep. Mission accomplished. Fantastic. So tell me. According to the coin on that placard, the Atosha sank on the 6th of September, 1622. George, you are awesome. I'll let you know if I need anything else. Over and out. All right, so with this, we want to turn the dials. Oh man, I hope I have the right solution, okay. Um, C to six, H to two, then O to one, sorry, O to one, A to six, last A to two, And then T to whatever T is supposed to be. Nope, it's T to nine, but something messed up there. So let's try this. So it was um, six, that's not two. Okay, H was wrong, H needs to be two, which means I need to mess up this A. Which means I need to mess up this T. Got it. Great, and that gave me two things for two puzzles. So let's solve both those puzzles right away. Or do we want to visit the other islands? Let's solve those two puzzles before I forget them. Give me a second here on my computer. Oh no! I'm working on it, okay? Our patience is wearing thin. Get us that treasure if you want to keep your friends safe. Threatening messages. The national anthem? Oh say, can you by the dawn's early light? That's an easy one. Harder to sing than it is to remember. All right, so Nancy needs to dig around here until she finds the various things. So we need a donkey, a camel, and a dove. Nope, that's not it. Well, turns into dig everywhere until you find everything. Those kidnappers are impatient. There's the one item we need. That's 
Bess's bracelet. She must have stopped here on the way to Sangre Beach. There's another one. Got it. Fantastic. So do I have all them? Oh man, I need just one more and then I'll be able to solve this puzzle. Or maybe not. Let's see. So yeah, no, no, I need the donkey in order to solve this puzzle. So let's see if we can find the donkey anywhere. Nope, just a random thing. That's not it. Uh. Got it. Okay, I found the last thing. Now let's solve that puzzle. Right, so I've got the solution written down. I'll just do that. Okay, so click on the donkey. Which one is a donkey? This? Let's say that's the donkey. Turn the camel and center. Then dub three times. One, two, three, and center. Yay, so basically we're recreating that symbol, that particular outline. Is that an easy puzzle? No. No, it's not. Excellent. So now let's go to the other island. For the last dial. This is kind of a long game. Just because of the monkeys. If I had won those monkey challenges on the first try every single time, then this game would not be so long. here to the southwest. You get an Easter egg if you find all those little bottles. I don't think I'm anywhere near close to doing it though. That book right there. Ah, uh, that book tells you how to sail. Oh, and this tells us more about latitude and longitude. Okay, nice. This is sort of a double puzzle, like a triple puzzle, actually. I kind of like this one. This is one of the areas I really like. Ow! Ouch! Dodge the jellyfish. That's one of the puzzles. Kind of failed that one. This is the area where we find a shell in the bottom right. Bottom left, sorry. Now we're gonna go over to our friend here. The octopus. Right here. Oh my gosh, there's an octopus in there. We lure the octopus out by putting an octopus shell here out of its reach. Do octopuses eat shells? I don't remember if they do. 
Well, this one does. So here we want to uh, take away two lines and then put in those two lines in another spot. I think here we take away three lines, right? One. Two. Three. Did that wrong, okay. One. Two. Then for three, I think we just take these, these lines on top. One, two, three. I think I know what I did wrong. Okay, one, two. Now for three, uh, one, two. I just can't get that one puzzle figured out. Hmm. I do not have my, uh, I don't have a solution for this written down, do I? Okay, well, no big deal. So the instructions, it'd be nice if I could read the instructions without having to, you know, lose oxygen. Okay. Try this again. So let's see. I'm I'm trying to make how many squares am I trying to make? I, I move three, and so I try to make these squares. Um, hmm. You can, in fact, take that book out underwater. It's very silly. So let's see. Um, hmm. I do feel like that's one of them. But then how would I, I get these other squares into place? Let's see, I'm trying to get four by moving three. So trying to get four squares here. So I get one there, that's three. But then how am I gonna get a fourth? So like one, two, and then three, like this maybe, like one, two, what? I was trying to show off the solution, the game didn't let me. My mistake. So, one, two, three. There, and then now we have to make however many squares. Um, so like one, how many squares am I making here? One, two, three, four. Got it. That gives me the well earned dial. So, this is a double puzzle. We need to surface without losing our oxygen and without that red meter going all the way to the top, so you do have to stop and wait. Oh, and you have to dodge Ow! the jellyfish as well. Which is kind of tough because, Ow! as Ouch! explained, you have to, like, stay in place in several places in order to avoid dying. Did it! Okay. Let's go back to, let's go back to the island. There's Johnny's boat. So 
So now we get to solve like one of the final puzzles, which is the blue hole puzzle. Gonna have to refill on oxygen there. Excellent, let's go, get it filled in. Let's see if George has anything new to talk to us about as well. I doubt she does. Now I'll be all ready to make another dive. How's it going? I better get back to work. You know where to find me. Alrighty, so that's for, uh... Ah, uh, yeah, George has nothing to say. So definitely, yeah, we've got the six dials. Great, we can solve the six dials. Like I said, it's just, we're getting relatively close to the end of the game here. I don't know how long we've been live streaming. Two and a half hours. Yeesh. Come on, come on. You can do it, Nancy. There it is. Okay. Sorry, it went the wrong way around the map. Now we go diving. So, what we're supposed to do... Okay, so this is a puzzle. With this puzzle, you need to figure out what the animals are. So, B-E-E -E is B, and... Don key donkey D O N K E Y, that's donkey, and owl. That's the tough one, owl. So we need to know the order of all those animals. That's going to be for a puzzle in just a moment. Next, we need to do the warning signs. This is the other part of the puzzle. We want to follow these. So one means caution, one means danger, one means death. You want to avoid that. You want to go down the safe ones, the ones that are labeled as safe. Alternately, you just keep going through this area. You're trying to go to the right. Um, that's basically what you do. You want to go to the upper right. Upper right is the area that we're trying to aim for. See if I can do this. And here we go, we found our way through. Not so bad. So we want to get all those dials in place and uh, let's see. So it was B. Ant. Donkey, owl, and then I guess those two must be swapped, right? No, no, no. Camel there, that there. Now we want to rotate all these pieces so they're matching. That is blue. Blue touches blue. Purple touches purple. Green, white, those ones match as well. And there, solved it. All right, so this is the tough puzzle that nobody likes to solve. Um, I need to get a key from one of these hourglasses. There we go. There's a key for the treasure. What you need to do is rotate them so they all run out at the exact same time. It says that somewhere in here, I think. So in order to do this, let's see if my notes are correct. It says, um, 
we're gonna start with Humili Dad. Then at three seconds, I'm gonna hit Generosity Dad. Then at 9.5 seconds, I hit Costi Dad. Then uh, Paciencia at 13 seconds. Then Templans at 17 seconds. And 21 seconds, Caridad. And Diligentia at 25. That's a lot easier. What you're supposed to do is... Well, let's just go for it and see if this works. One. One, two, three. Nine and a half seconds is this one. It's about that. Thirteen is patience. Seventeen is going to be the T. Twenty-one, Caridad. And twenty-five, Diligencia. What you do is you get those various lines on them to line up. And got it, yeah. So they all go out at the exact same time, that's the idea. Um, the previous strategy was you, you wait for like, okay, you wait for it to hit red line, and then you flip the next one. And then you wait for it to hit like the second line, and then you wait for like halfway between the lines, something like that. Doing it by seconds is way easier. I don't know why I didn't think of that solution sooner. Yeah, there we go. Looks like a very old map of the Western United States. Woohoo! And that, this is the treasure. Nancy doesn't take the treasure. All she does is take that map, which I just find so weird and strange. I don't know why she does that. There's some extra oxygen too. Like Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. Take the gold and run. Oh, here we go. Here's, here's the previous solution. So you turn Humili Dad. It's the middle of the first line and the second line is when you turn the next one. Then you wait until it hits the second red. Then you turn the other one. Middle of first and second. Middle of first and second. Middle of second and third. Middle of second and third. So that's the solution if you're going according to the, the lines. Yeah, I don't know why Nancy thought this particular portion of the treasure was the important one. That just seems kind of weird to me. Maybe Nancy goes back on her own and takes all the treasure. Or she thinks that, you know, the treasure chest is too heavy to carry. Maybe? That makes sense. All right, let's do this. Nancy Drew calling George Bain. Come in, George. Over. This is George. Talk to me. Over. Nothing much to report, over. Same here, but stay in touch. You too. Over and out. I just find it funny. This is George. Can you hear me, Nancy? Over. Read you where loud and they clear. say, "Hey, there's nothing Everything to talk okay? about. Over. Nothing's happening." Everything's fine. Over. Ditto for me. Over. Then I guess it's over and out. Because as soon as Nancy goes back, George is like, "Oh, hey, big news, Nancy. Big, big important news." Nancy call George from right here. George, it's Nancy. Are you there? Over. I'm here, Nan. At your service. Over. Any luck with the phone? Over. Not yet, but I'm getting there. Over. You can do it. Over and out. How does George not see Nancy? Nancy was so close. That's just weird. Detective Drew, this is George. You out there? Over. This is Detective Drew. Everything okay? Over. Everything's fine. Over. Ditto like for Nancy me. And over. Then I guess it's over and out. Should be within eyesight of each other at this particular moment. They should be. But whatever. Okay, Nancy is here, and then so is George. George has magically teleported to be here and talk to Nancy. Nancy, you're here. This just showed up on the porch. What? Whoa, when did you find this, George? 
We know you have the treasure. Go immediately to Songray Beach. Give it to the man staying there. Return to the resort. We'll get the treasure from him. Go to the beach alone. Well, the good news is I found the treasure. It's a map. Yes! I knew you could do it! I knew it! So what's the bad news? I'm gonna have to deliver it to Johnny by myself. But... Look, I still don't know if this guy's in on the kidnapping or not, but even if he's not, we could blow everything if you contradict these instructions and drive out there with me. No, listen. I could sneak ahead of you and hide. George, I'm not going to risk Bess's life over some map. It does seem like the culprit has a printer, right? The culprit totally printed out that note for Nancy to read. But you can't expect me to just sit here. I have to go. I mean, what if something happens to you? What if I never see either of you again? I couldn't deal with that, Nancy. I just couldn't. George, I'm going to go. And when I come back, Bess will be with me. I promise. Okay. You're still here? Go make the drop-off so we can get Bess back. Go! But, but, but I wanted to talk. Would you quit fooling around? Go make the drop-off. George! What are you waiting for? Follow the kidnapper's instructions. <laughs> Aw, let's see if Cuckoo has anything to say. Ah, Nancy too! What's up with you? See you later, Cuckoo. Hasta la vista! Well, nope, she does not. So let's go save Bess. Kind of. This is where we have the big reveal with the culprit. We're gonna figure out who Johnny Roll really is. So as I mentioned earlier, uh, this game has been discontinued because Johnny Roll was somebody pretending to be Jamaican when he is not. We'll find out exactly who that person is but let me get that explanation from her interactive up again just for everybody who wants to see it um because i'm sure there are people that just skip to this part of the game because it's the most interesting part of the game it's the culprit reveal well this deals with why the game has been discontinued as this uh message from team her interactive says we have discontinued this game as there are char there is a character who disguises himself as different ethnicities we definitely see that here when the culprit takes off the disguise and starts talking in his real voice. So he's not a Jamaican beach bum, nor is he an Australian accountant. Back again, are ya? Well, better you than your friend George. George was out here? Got a giant-sized stubborn streak in her, that one does. The girl who's missing is her cousin. She's just really worried about her, that's all. Well, tell her to take her worrying someplace else. Why are you being so nonchalant? Come on, her... Her, her best friend, cousin, was kidnapped. You should be more considerate of George's feelings. The people who kidnapped my friend, they want me to leave something with you. What is that? Some kind of treasure map. They intend to take it from you when they're sure the coast is clear. I don't want it. Get it out of here. It's not for you. It's for the kidnappers. Oh, no. Forget it. I don't want any part of this. I'm in enough trouble as it is. Look, it's no big deal. All they want is the map. You've got to do this, please. Oh, crikey. And now that I've done everything you've wanted, I want you to do something for me. Sure. What do you want? Just watch. Remember me, Nancy? Oh my gosh, you're that guy from New York. The one who threatened the life of Rick Arlen. You're the agent. David. No. Daniel. Darren. Darwin, Derek, Dewey, Dick, Drake. Dwayne, you idiot! Dwayne Powers! Dwayne Powers, right! I thought you went to prison. I did. For several long years. But they were well spent. You see, one of the men who worked at the Monkey Research Center here did volunteer work at the prison after he retired. We got to be friends. Good friends. Such good friends that he gave me a book the monkeys had found somewhere here on the island. He was sure it would lead to Sibylla, one of the fabled lost cities of gold. But he couldn't decode it, nor could I. And then it hit me. A way to find El Toro's treasure and get back at the teenage snoop who ruined my life. 
You buried El Toro's book on the beach, then lured us here, kidnapped Bess, and left me those directions so I could dig it up, decode it, and find the treasure for you. And those clues I found suggesting the Gibsons were the kidnappers, you planted them to throw me off track. Yes! It was all sheer genius! I was an up-and-coming actor before you came along, did you know that? No, I didn't. Well, I was. And as I just proved, I've still got what it takes. You fell for my performance hook, line, and sinker. Not only did I get you to find that map to Sibylla, but I had you begging me to take it from you. And I had you believing there were mysterious other people on the island, didn't I? Unfortunately, there's nobody here but me. Heck, I even got you to help undo the damage those infernal monkeys did to my boat. I was brilliant! All right, so you were brilliant. Now where's Bess? She's very close, actually. Always has been. Next time, if there is a next time, watch upon whose toes you step, Nancy Drew. Watching where you step wouldn't hurt either. Oh no. Oh yes. <gasps> So that's Dwayne Powers, he's from Nancy Drew Stay Tuned for Danger, the second game in the Nancy Drew series. He's come back for revenge! Woo! It is a shame they were not able to get the original voice actor for Dwayne Powers. Uh, the person who's doing his voice here is not trying to do a Dwayne Powers voice, he's not trying to imitate the original Dwayne Powers. I think he's doing the same voice he uses for Andy Jason. It's more of, it's the same person who does the voice as Andy Jason. So he's doing his Andy Jason, Frank Hardy voice, rather than trying to imitate Dwayne. I feel like that's a major lost opportunity because Dwayne was so dramatic. Real life is a soap opera, Miss Drew. I'm sorry I have to murder you for you to realize that. He's just... He's so super dramatic, and even though this was a very dramatic uh, culprit reveal, I feel like it could have been even more dramatic! That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. This is what's known as the end of the line, Nancy. I was hoping to get all three of you down there, but your pal George lucked out. Oh well, gotta be flexible. No, wait, stop! Come on, Dwayne, let's talk! I want to hear more! You know, about about how smart you are for coming up with such an incredibly clever plan! Sorry! No time! I've got a tide to catch! Hope you're not afraid of the dark! No, fortunately, I'm not. Whales rule! And Nancy really should have jumped out of the way to avoid being captured. Nancy! Like, Nancy had a few seconds where she realized she was going to be captured. She could have jumped out of the way. It's Bess! Hooray! Yes. Oh my gosh, I wasn't sure I'd ever see you again. Are you okay? Oh man, am I glad to see you. I mean, I'm not happy you got dumped down here too, but I'm real happy I'm not alone anymore. And now that you are down here, I'm really, really happy because I know you'll be able to get us out. And oh my gosh, you found my bracelet. That is so cool. And I sound like an absolute babbling idiot, don't I? Sort of. Just try to calm down. Are you okay? Well, I'm kind of thirsty, and I'm starving, of course, and until he opened the lid just now, it was getting pretty stuffy in here, but otherwise I'm fine. And I found a way out! Look! So where on the island is this cave located? That is a great question. I don't know the answer to it. Guess this thing doesn't work underground. We're somewhere underground. You can open it. Locked doors are your specialty. Come on, Nan. That door's our only way out of here. Think! You can open it. Locked doors are your specialty. Well, I do happen to have the key. I believe it's the key we just picked up from those... What do you call them? From the hourglasses. <laughs> hooray! Hooray! So let's see. We take the key from El Toro. Might as well find the hidden treasure here because there is another hidden treasure. There's a second hidden treasure. It's kind of cool here. So we uh, look for the snowflake lock. Snowflake, snowflake, snowflake here. And we put the key with no holes into it. That opens up this thingy. that painting yeah so we, we've got symbols and you might notice these pictures are the same as pictures inside 
El Toro's journal. That's the puzzle. Or that's the clue for the puzzle, I might say. So the, the pictures in the journal, we want to press them. Yeah, see this one? That one. We want to press them in the order that uh, they appear in the journal. And each picture had a symbol attached to it, right? So there's that symbol. So that's how we figure out the order. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. And then this is going to require both keys. Luckily, Nancy knows which key goes where. And then it's one. I need to turn the keys. One, three, four, five. Oh no. Got it, finally. There's the treasure. All right, so there's El Toro's hidden treasure. Top secret hidden treasure. But now we need to find a way to escape. So this puzzle is not as tough as it seems. I, I figured out the cheat to the solution. If there's a wave in the upper left corner, bottom left is the solution. So you can just keep going until we get a wave in the upper left corner. Where is that wave? Uh oh. There we go. Waves in the upper left, so the solution is bottom left. Let's go. Is it this key? Yep, that's the key. Nancy, you did it! Come on, Bess, let's get out of here. That puzzle is super complicated. What you need to do is solve uh, just a bunch of clues. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different clues on the, the final page of the journal. But my solution's much easier. Just just go away and keep coming back until there's a wave in the upper left. Then it's always going to be bottom left 100% every time. It's a great cheat. The plane's coming. George must have gotten the satellite phone to work. Both you guys are amazing. George! Hey, George! <laughs> Not only had George called the float plane company, but she'd contacted the U.S. Coast Guard and the police in Nassau, San Juan, Miami, and Havana. She even called the FBI, but they put her on hold. Anyway, while Bess and George waited for the authorities, I talked the float plane pilot into taking me up so we could search for Dwayne from the air. We soon spotted his boat about three miles from shore and radioed it in. But when they boarded the boat, the police found it empty. Was the boat just a decoy? Did Dwayne meet up with someone and make his getaway in a boat I wouldn't recognize? Or did he, while gloating over the map, accidentally fall overboard and drown. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like anyone will ever know for sure. Yeah, we will never find out what happened to poor Dwayne. I don't think they're ever going to do a sequel to this game, especially because the game's been discontinued. I, of course, turned the treasure chest Bess and I found over to the authorities. But almost immediately, the Bahamian and Spanish governments were at loggerheads, arguing over which country had the legal right to claim the treasure is theirs. It soon became yet another mystery that may never be solved. As for the Gibsons, they'd been at a week-long family reunion in North Dakota and were mystified upon their return to find the resort overrun with police, government agents, and reporters. They didn't have a clue what had gone on in their absence. But they were happy about all the publicity Dwayne's escapade had generated and offered to let Bess, George, and me continue to stay on for a real free vacation. But we all said, no, thank you. The only thing that sounded good to any of us after what we just been through was good old boring home. And that's the end. Okay, what was the name of that? I am Kostidad or Karidad, I think. Let's go with Kostidad. Nah, I got it wrong. Okay, so, um, I did find that Johnny was Australian. We did the Australian thing. And I had positive responses to a lot of questions. And I found the hidden treasure 
but I did not do any of the other things. It would take forever to do all these. Like, see all of Cuckoo's tricks? Uh, no thank you. Um, more buried treasure? Well, that wouldn't be so bad. But winning all the prizes of the monkeys? Nope. Uh-uh. Not happening. No, just not happening. Something sinister has been set loose at Waverly Academy. Someone known only as the Black Cat is terrorizing students, sending them strange notes, which are always followed by frightening accidents. The only way to unravel the mystery is to go undercover as a transfer student and enter the world of cliques and gossip that rules life at this exclusive all-girls boarding school. Help me uncover Waverly's centuries-old secrets and avoid becoming the Black Cat's next victim by joining me in my next adventure, Warnings at Waverly Academy. Warnings at Waverly Academy, one of my favorite games. I really love it. It's definitely better than this game. It's got a bunch of different characters. It's got like five or six characters. This game only really had Dwayne. I feel like that was sort of a problem was because Dwayne was in disguise. Um, that took... I feel like maybe that took them a lot of time to do both versions of Dwayne, maybe, and that's why they weren't able to add another character. I don't know. Maybe Cuckoo the Parrot. Animating Cuckoo the Parrot took forever, so they're like, well, should we have four characters in this game? No. Let's have one character and then a parrot. Yes! High fives all around. <laughs> all right. So good night, everybody. This... Um, yeah, the, the music for this game is really great. I do like that. Do, do. Tanager Bird Model. Oh, so they actually had a model. Well, that's where all the budget in the game went. Wanted to figure out what those birds looked like. I think it's a new voice actress for George. I, I really like the George. Although, um, Bess? I think we have Bess for like nine, ten games? I, I don't know. It's weird how they keep switching out Bess and George, but we've had the same Ned for most of the series and the same Nancy for most of the series. I think the only major character who's never been replaced as a voice actor has been Joe Hardy. The guy who plays Joe has just always been living in the Seattle area close to her interactive, so they've never had any reason to replace him, I suppose. All right, so after this, we are going to get some uh, outtakes. I don't think these outtakes are that uh, funny, but hey, it's nice to have them, I guess. Doo -doo -doo. Hey, are we getting to the outtakes or what? I don't need to hear the music. Hi, oh. I'm Nancy Drew. I guess this we're not getting any outtakes. Well, my, my mistake, everybody. I thought there around. were outtakes here. If you here want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, and take enjoy. a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. Unfortunately, it's I was incorrect helpful, about that. Especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. So thanks for I watching, everybody. Hope you from enjoyed this video. Um, a lot of them were pretty dangerous. Thank you for being nice really in the chat scary. instead of starting don't arguments anything about that and fighting dad, okay? all the time He worries through. about me enough as it. That'll tell you all so, about the mystery bye. I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to die.